The views and opinions expressed on this program are solely those of the participant or caller and do not reflect the views of WinFM 98.9. WinFM reserves the right to disconnect any caller who infringes the law or offends the right of any person. The station will also refuse to take any call from any person who in WinFM's considered opinion is likely to expose the station to liability for statements made on the air. Welcome to Island Tea with your faves. Keep it locked in with us for your daily dose of hot tea only on Win Media 98.9. Good morning, guys. Good morning. Good morning. And welcome to Island Tea right here on Win Media SKN. It's Monday. Start of a brand new, fresh, jiggy week. Um, it's November 14th, and you're here with your faves, me, Azem, and I am joined. Ta da! Look who's back. Jade Gwen. <laughs> Jade Gwen. Gwen. Adito, CPL Mato, Stuart Johnson. Um, rocking you, rocking you. Where, where the bands have said that? Yeah. Okay. Rocking. Yeah. Rocking you, and you gotta say it twice. Rocking you, rocking you. <laughs> One of these days, I'm coming here and just talk about the band rules. There's band rules. There's band rules. Well, I don't know. Then you gotta say rocking you, rocking you. You gotta say it don't matter if you're on a field, on a stage. So you gotta be in. You gotta be in the house. Like it just like it just there's, there's certain band rules, then. I wasn't a weird friend. Yeah, yeah, I know, but you're, but you're not you're not you're not banish. I'm not. I'm not a band member of any sort. Right, so you ain't gonna know these things. Yes. Like you, and when you're leaving, you gotta say, we gotta go. No, another one. No. Oh. <laughs> another one, at least. Uh. Yeah, miss me. I missed y'all. Why last week was... Last week was a heck of a week. Jade, give us a quick rundown. Because what happened was, the last time we would have saw you would have been... We should have seen you on a Monday, <laughs> right? But we didn't. No, you saw me on previous Friday. Mm-hmm. So I took up my butt and I went to St. Martin to see Mr. Last Last. <laughs> and I came last last came because last. <laughs> <laughs> they would have said, nope, not at all. So I battled the weather. I had mm. some fun in St. Martin and then the weather was like, you can't go home. Okay, so wait, 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 you're, you're, you're cutting it short. So you got down there mm-hmm. on Friday. The show would have been Saturday. Saturday. Mm-hmm. So Friday evening was all good. Like you. Yeah, man, I went gallivanting with my okay. cousin. Okay, okay, good when you go foreign places and you have family. Yes, yes, yes. So me and, and my, my bestie, we went gallivanting with my cousin and, you know. So that was all like a pregame for what yeah. was going to be an amazing weekend so concert. And so the next day came. We weren't watching the weather there, like, eh. You look quick, a little, yeah. <laughs> a little wet down here, white. <laughs> and funny enough, before we went, um, shout out to Reggie who warned us. He was like, "Yeah, you're gonna be terrible this weekend in in Saint Martin weather-wise." I was like, "Is it though?" 
You know, boy, we were initially afraid I got the messages about the, the weather was going to be kind of tense. Say I wasn't. I think, no, I think, I think I, told, I didn't tell you about it. I don't remember you telling me. I think I told you that it was going to gonna rain. Yeah. I tell you it was going to rain. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, Friday was a little wet, but not too bad still. You know, we had fun. We went gallivanting. Mm-hmm. Saturday now, all day, it rained. From morning? From, from, as in from I wake up, it's just water. Water. So I was like, maybe it's just raining off for in the evening, you know, it's going to be good. Yeah, and if it's raining all day, then you think by night the rain stop. No, it didn't? Not wow. even in the slightest, friend. Wow. Me and my cousin and Chrissy decided we're going early. Going still, yeah. Which deal? Me and my auntie dropped us. My auntie, good old auntie B. Auntie B, big up yourself. Yeah, man. She dropped us because she didn't want us to be stuck in traffic. Of course. Yeah, and... For me, which is just water. Right. As I'm, this was the first time I've ever been outside and felt like I was about to die in a storm. Because mm. usually when things pass and I'm inside. Because right. what, what are we outside? Right. Any little weather, disturbance, anything, Bed. I am inside. Bed. Yes. Okay. But I was outside. Right. And I was watching mm-hmm. tables going one way. What? Things on the, the stage going on next. What? I saw, oh. <laughs> I, saw vid- I saw some video I saw a video of a of a screen falling down. You happen to witness that? I tell you I witnessed everything when I was there from early. What? <laughs> <laughs> this, this is why I don't gotta wait early, you know. The first time in my life I was actually early. And this way I like it. Mm-hmm. Storm. Yeah, just storm. Storm and water. So the word on the street is that they were trying to keep the show and it didn't They were trying, man. They were showing anything. Yeah, and but they... I, I, I knew, I knew when, I knew when it wasn't gonna happen. I, there was this moment where the DJ started playing, mm-hmm. but the weather got worse for like so a they, good ten minutes. So the DJ was like, "Let's go," and then the weather was like, "Nah." Hey, hey, cool, cool, cool. Yeah, man, blood on everybody. <laughs> wow. I tell the tables going one way, cheers going the next. Things just started up upon it. I said, "I need to go home." Well, not yeah. home, cause man. Right. But yeah, but as soon as we left, it, it started winding down. Because somebody did tell me, it seemed as though the storm was just waiting for them to cancel the show, for it to ease up. Yep. It's like, you was just like, I plan to call it off. Okay. Okay, let me show you what you all need to call it off. Mm-hmm. It showed us, show called off. We drove back to town. I went to Lotus and had a grand old time. Oh, yeah, man, Lotus? Oh, yeah, man. Nice. Well, I don't know, I'm closing it. Oh, you, I, I saw Jade's outfit. You couldn't, wear, you couldn't miss it. Of course not. <laughs> I don't know my good clothes. Eh? Yeah, 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 yeah. So it is what it says. Lotus was inside. So, you know, we partied. There's one thing Caribbean people going to do is party oh, by. But rain, storm, sleet. We did. Had a grand old time. <laughs> then, you know. Big up all the people who was having their lockdown parties. Bye. Where's up, boys? <laughs> Yeah, and then, you know, Sunday, flight couldn't make it, so I don't know how to come back when I went back. Wednesday? Wednesday, yeah. Yeah, man, I had to spend two extra days. But here did you up now, Jade? Wait, no, maybe finish now. Oh, because... Then I, I w- get sick. Because I was just going to say, well, you come back Wednesday, but we just seen you, so what happened? Because I was sick. <laughs> <laughs> As it was like, the weather now was coming back, so I decided to punish me mm. for just trying to have a good old weekend. Mm-hmm. See how life does work as an adult? The universe, man. But when I tell me and Chrissy was oh no, Chrissy's sick, I still sick. Something going on in the same kids, the same thing that was going on in St. Martin. Like, I, I think and I come back to good old. But then I saw y'all had some terrible weather too, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. By, by um Sunday, Monday. The same weather that we had, it just went down by aisle. It was, for some reason, this weather wanted me to stay in St. Martin. I don't know where it was. But it, it decided to move from where I was traveling to <laughs> to where I was coming. <laughs> like. Kind of hostage situation this. But yeah, long of the weather still. But I made it back for you guys because I missed you so much. Yeah, they missed you too. Yes, if I hear me coughing up along on the, the radio, don't don't judge me. Don't judge me. So me and accustomed to wear a mask, me and even gonna mask. Yeah. And I forget mine, so <laughs> you know what I mean. <laughs> May your immune system be with you. Mm. I've been taking my vitamins back. I hope so. Right. I have. I definitely have. Wow, but that's kind of how it just going on. Like it, it just, it just another reminder that no matter how much you plan, life just got 
it's own ideas about what you need to be doing. As in, and uh, this does happen to me all the time. So every time I get too excited about something, something does go wrong. So I think about Thursday, say you know what? I'm gonna kill my excitement and hope for the best. Nope, it was too late. I was too excited. You're too excited. Too excited. You couldn't even try fake it. No, it was done out in the atmosphere. Mm. But I heard Bernard by all weekend. I didn't see him. I definitely heard him. Mm-hmm. Yeah, man. Everybody, you go ever see him. Down Kumpa, right now I can't out Kumpa me, you know. Oh, well, you, 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 you're a Kumpa girl now? Listen, I got a little... That's one thing I always like about St. Martin. Um, because there's so many... Actually, uh, <laughs> there's so many people there who are not from St. Martin. Like, there's there's not a lot of... Like, like St. Like Martin's. Everybody there from somewhere else. I can't even say me too, because they don't have the math in Europe. That's what I'm telling you. <laughs> Knowledge from the... Mm, technically. <laughs> technically. But yeah, yeah but so, I, so, like, so you have all these um, mu- different type of music, different um, different cultures. But I know you're saying, wait, 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 nobody wants to say that. Dude, it's hard. There's very, it's very hard to meet some Martinus like that. Oh they, my they, gosh. I meet people from Haiti, Jamaica, Anguilla. Yep. India. Did I meet anybody from India? You had to, because they're everywhere. <laughs> yeah, but not like, oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so that's what I'm telling you a lot. So, and of course, France and Holland. But, oh, of course. Because, but yeah. Mm-hmm. But yeah, so there's a lot of that going on um, down there. But because of that, you get the nice music. Bye, yeah. Zook and Kumpa. Ooh. i tell you the story about the time when I just jump off the plane because somebody tell me, carry me. And, um, and thing was gonna. You did? Yeah, it was you in St. Martin. I was heading back from somewhere. I think we were coming back from St. Thomas or somewhere. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I was coming back from St. Thomas. And there was a show with um, Carry Me. And. Um, oh boy. I oh, could forget the name. You know, yeah. Who sing, who sing, Rete? You know, me know what I mean. The best, the best, one of the best bands to ever come out of the Caribbean, Jade. That's fine. And people are people underrated them. I don't understand this. Maybe because we don't know them. <sighs> but yeah. Yeah, man, some Martin was vibes. I would go back anytime. Especially since the boat went in. I couldn't. I was, you see, my plan was to, to take the boat on Monday to come back home. But what? Yes, oh, Kassav. Yes, Thank you, the, Jamster. You see the water? Jade. Friend me, I was going on Jade. nobody boat. <laughs> well, that was Monday, you know. Well, here the joke, no? I was supposed to be in Monstrat this weekend, yeah. Oh. But them tell us we're going down on board. I said, no, man, I can cool you. It's okay, it's okay. Funny enough, right? I went to buy my ticket Saturday so I could come home. And guess who forget she passport? Do you stop playing with me? In No, I'm, I forgot it. Home. I know, but you don't reach the airport? No, no, a boat. I was going to buy my ticket for the boat. Oh. You don't buy it at the airport. You buy it at a... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. On yeah. back street. Mm-hmm. But yeah, that was God telling me, nah. Don't do that. You was going to come on the McCann, no? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And the only ones Monday and Friday. Monday and Friday, yeah. So if I, didn't, so if I couldn't come down on Monday, I would have sold because who come in on Friday? <laughs> God tell me, Mr. Boat, Mr. Boat Jade. Yeah. Because the weather was going to be doing too much. Yeah. But yeah, that was, me, that was my weekend. And then I come home, my, good, my, little, my, my little nugget sick. Oh boy. So now it's no sleep for me from from Friday to now as I might have slept for hour. No oh boy. Jaden, why are you doing that to mommy? And it's like <laughs> he's sick and he wants to sleep. He was like, so why are you footing me to what? Yeah, that's what it be. What happens to just sit laying still? Mm. No, you want. He I got to uh, No consideration for your neck. Listen. Mm. It's been a wild weekend. It's been a wild weekend. Yeah, yeah. I had a, I had an interesting weekend too. Uh left here and for it. Who do not? What? And so, gosh, you know better. And so. Good morning, good morning, Sister Sensia. You're live on Island T. How are you doing? I'm here. I'm Oh, boy. But, yeah, I left here on Friday. And, um, I, uh, what do Friday, boy? I do something Friday. The week was a big rush. Like, uh, it was a, a lot of things happening. And then on Saturday, I did the Bitcoin Cash Conference over at Royal, Royal St. Kitts. That was cool. Um, yesterday, it was a lot of churching. 
so my um my church in um in Sadler's celebrate the 60th anniversary. So a lot of years, yeah. Hi. 60 years, Jade, in a building. So there's, there's a whole um. It's still maintained, wow. Yeah, man, big vibes. We need to put them there in charge a, of the rest of the things. But and we had a whole um restoration. The church members really came out and people in the community and so come out and, and help like um the renovations and everything. So mm-hmm. but yeah, things looking fresh over there, Jade. Oh. Yeah. So you know, I discovered that there's a Caribbean problem when it comes to um. Bad mind? Oh. No, 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 not ma- bad mind. Maintenance, maintenance. Oh yeah, that's a, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, my cousin was telling me about how they don't maintain nothing to maintain. They just build them and hope for the best. I said, oh, <sighs> this is a, a regional problem, I, I, I guess. Yeah, yeah. There's a lot of that happening, Jade. Even, even in the US right now, they're complaining about infrastructure. I did not know that. I thought they just build things in other countries and take care of them. Oh, this ain't it's saying the worst. It might not be the worst, but we don't have to be with everybody else. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We don't have to follow suit, <laughs> do you know? We don't have to follow suit. We don't mean you're talking about just um, learning from the mistakes of others. Yeah, but I don't be studying us as we don't uh, establish that. All right, yeah. all right, all right. Well, guys, we're going to take a short break and be right back. You guys know on Monday, we joined by our friends from the traffic department. Today is no different. Mm-hmm. So stick and stay. We'll be right back, guys. Protect your life. Or four six nine five three zero three. Delia Walvin, people you can trust. Be careful on the road. Don't make it an episode. Attention, attention, all drivers. Good morning guys, welcome to <laughs> welcome back to Win Media SKN. And we're here um, jumping into traffic talk with our friends from the traffic department. Um, in studio with us we have none other than our um we should call him friend of the show. He's been here quite a bit now. Yeah, yeah, yeah def- definitely a friend of the show. Um Sergeant Harris um in the studio with us. Good morning, Sarge. How are you doing? A pleasant good morning, one and all. I'm doing great at this moment. 
Awesome. Uh, and I see you brought uh, a colleague with you this morning. Um, my colleague here today is Inspector Phipps. She's the manager of the department. And she will here to assist me with the program. I don't want to get it wrong. Is it Fritz or? Phipps. Phipps? Yes. Sir. Lovely, lovely. I don't want people to mix it up. But um, as usual, I know you guys have um, something on your agenda. Um, tell us what's, what's, what we're talking about today. Good morning to all. Today we'll be speaking about the lighting. But before we go into our topic today, I have um, a notice to read. And it goes, the general public is hereby notified that effective Tuesday, 15 November 2022, vehicle traffic exiting Port Dan Zante in the vicinity of Sands Complex will be permitted to turn left or right on the Bay Road. Why are you clapping? You will note, however, that the traffic light signals at that junction will continue to indicate right right only. Appropriate signage will be posted at the junction to indicate left turn are also permitted. Oh. Oh. This temporary change is to facilitate the traffic flow study by the Public Works Department, after which a decision will be made, will be taken on the way forward based on the result of this study. We ask motorists and pedestrians to continue to be courteous when using these intersections and comply with all traffic signs and signals. Well, well congratulations so, congr who made that very uh, important decision about time. Oh, the, the, the people on the live are going crazy. Yes, they, yeah, they, they, they appreciate they, this one. They appreciate this one, by they. So therefore, ladies and gentlemen, when you're calling, you're your opinion, uh, your contrib contribution of this program assists traffic department and the government to assist the general public for the smooth operation of traffic. So all those calls that used to come in concerning Port Zante area the lights, it is now under study. So therefore, just be cautious when you're on the road. Awesome, awesome. Well, I'm um, happy to hear that, um, you know, the suggestions of the general public um, are, are taken into consideration and not only taken into, cons taken into consideration, but also in some cases can lead to, to action. So I appreciate, appreciate that. Um, you, I know you guys wanted to speak about the lighting, but you guys willing to take a call? Sure. Okay, good. Oh, awesome. We have someone trying to get in on the phone line. Good morning, caller. You're live on Traffic Talk. Good morning, Asim. Morning. I just tuned in. I just tuned in. Um, it seems that there's been a nice announcement concerning traffic. I didn't hear it, but it seems so. Um, can the officer or one of you repeat it for, for, for us, please? And if I may ask a quick question after. Yeah, uh, well, bas in, uh, basically what is happening is that it was announced that to facilitate a traffic study by the Public Works Department that <coughs> traffic leaving Port Zante East, that is in the vicinity of the Sands Complex, can now turn left as well as right. Um, appropriate signage will be put up um, soon, um, but it's, it's, it's just to, to let the general public know that um, traffic can now, when exiting that junction, take both the left and the right okay and that's effective when tomorrow tuesday 15th thank you very much all right appreciate thank it you very much god bless god bless they love it Jed. yeah they're already giving me other suggestions but tell them one at a time one at a time okay. one at a time. <laughs> somebody right. somebody asked about the right turn from liverpool or into college street good liverpool from liverpool or into college street Oh, that remain the same. Well, the same. I told them you know, one at a time. Yeah, that one probably, Baby that one, steps. <laughs> that one probably and thing. But what is still, what you do to get around that is to um into the for the right or wait. 
Liverpool were going right. Where would that be? Into College Street Cut. So it's driving. Yeah, but that's. You have two-way traffic on Liverpool. Right? No, the one. No way. one way. Right, so we, how you turn right into the gut? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I suspect what they mean is turning right right now oh, this is a question I was supposed to ask as well if you come up um, if you're traveling north in um, College Street got so you come up from the Bay Road right from Social Security you cannot make that right into Liverpool Road. you have to continue straight up the gut is that is that's correct that's correct yes you are oh, okay okay somebody was asking me about that but my suggestion would be to go if you really need to get onto Liverpool Road from the Bay Road to continue down and either go up um, the, the Westbourne Gut and come across Fort Thomas Road or you can make the right into, um, I think you can make the right into Market Street, is that correct? Yes, you're correct. Yeah, so that would be the way to get, get back there. Um, we have just one more um, suggestion. Somebody is saying that they need to check the lights on East, East Square Street where other drivers going west on Kayan Street are blocking persons to come out of East Square Street, especially on a Friday afternoon. Oh. Yeah, so sometimes when you drive up the, the, the road, um, that, that specific road, even though your light is telling you you could go, the traffic at the top of Kayan Street is blocking, so you can't you can't. Oh, do anything. Yeah, they get blocked up sometimes. People get stuck in the junction. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right, um, we also have one other person trying to get in on the conversation. Good morning, caller. You're live on Traffic Talk. Good morning, folks. Good morning, Good morning. morning. Uh, I only have um, two things in mind. I will have many, but I will only mention two. Number one, I have noticed that the bus drivers, normally when they put out a passenger, they sit in their seat and they direct the passenger to pass in the front of the bus and they put them in harm's way of an oncoming vehicle. It is of my view that I normally deal with passengers which exit from my vehicle and the left and the sidewalk and when I leave a passenger when I put a passenger out of my vehicle I drive off and leave them so the oncoming driver he is the one who could stop the traffic not me I cannot direct a traffic from my seat where I'm sitting I can only put on my indicator check my mirror to see if I'm clear to move out then I proceed but to have a passenger cross your front of your vehicle to go to the other side, to me, that should be a no-no. The other thing is, we are coming up for Carnival. We have the bypass road, which is the, um, which is the F.T. William. We could use that for and put all the vendors on the street at, 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 um, at, at, at the, at the F.T. William. Use the roundabout, they could go solar round and round and do um, band clash, go up to Gilas and back and put everything over there and shut off the road for the for the carnival jam session for the time being and leave the town. My suggestion. Have a good day, thank you very much. Thanks thanks for calling. Um with the reference to to the traffic jam at the lights. Um Traffic will have to improve with the, the traffic point. Where yes, sometimes lights are green but because of the many of traffic we have difficulties in moving. So therefore we will have to improve the traffic point by right, where we either use a police officer or traffic one to assist in the, the free flow of traffic. Um with reference to the, the bus drivers, um stopping and allowing passenger to pass cars in front of them and that should be a no no and the person the person are, are the adult should be smart enough not to cross the road where there's an obstruction that he cannot see no vehicle coming from a direction um i was i was in present in a, a bus when a, a young lady got knocked down that way where the bus driver stop and allow the lady to pass cross in front of his vehicle and while doing so a next vehicle come and knock the lady so therefore i i will say in my humble opinion that that should be a no-no 
Um, I know you have some bus drivers that does have kids and so forth. Um, you, you either drop the, the child at the premises or cut cut the road so you go block block the traffic and let the the child pass freely across. Uh, or, as I say, drop drop the child at the premises because, as I said earlier. Once you, once you stop on your left hand side and you allow somebody to pass across in front of you, it's, a, it's an obstruction, not only for the pedestrian who is crossing, but also the driver, the upcoming driver. So we, we got to look out for each other and let's, let's do better and think, think about saving, saving a life. Okay, and um, I would add a few things with regard to that to the East Independence Square street stop. What I've noticed too is that drivers, they tend to want to beat the lights. And so when they're traveling from East to West and they look up and they probably see the light about to change, they, they drive past yeah. it. So, mm -hmm. so then the person who is on East Independence Street now, they, they block them and that is where the traffic get con congested between there. Mm -hmm. If only drivers would adhere to the lights, things would be much better. Not only that too, I think, I think part of it would be um, the fact that you need to anticipate, you have to anticipate the traffic, right? So similarly, if you're driving in a line of traffic and it's moving slowly and you anticipate that if you continue closely behind the vehicle in front of you that you may end up blocking a junction, then, you know, the, the, the decent thing to do would be to, get, to stop, allow the traffic to move forward so that when you move forward, you're not blocking the junction. But I think what happens is that in an effort to just, like you said, to get out, get out of the stop, um, persons don't, and you, can, you could look forward and see that the traffic already blocked up, eh? but you just walk out and you join the train. <laughs> you know, so maybe a little anticipation and consideration could, uh, could help on that on behalf of the drivers as well. That's correct. So we... As we indicated, we will be talking about the lights and... I know you, I know you want to talk about the lights, but... <laughs> I know you want to talk about the lights, but we have somebody trying to get in on the phone lines. Good morning, Carlo. We'll take this caller and then um, yeah, we'll get into the, the next topic. Oh, we lost that one. Um, all right, so, yeah, continue. Okay, as it regards to the lights, we are speaking about the lights on the passenger buses, all vehicles. And we will be specific on the headlights. We've noticed that a number of motor vehicles have all kind of colored lights in their headlamps. The law clearly stated that they, it's two, two lights and it must be uncolored. You have, we have now seen green, blue, all kinds of colors and these are unauthorized lights. Carnival colors. Wow. Yes. However, we we gonna be strict on these as we are getting a lot of complaints, person driving without their headlights on, they use the fog lights, the fog lights are yellow, blue, all kind of different colors. They also have these caps over their headlights that some of the time you don't even, the lights don't project at how it normally should be. Mm -hmm. And to the back, when they're indicating, you cannot see anything because they have the same kind of cap or tint over the indicators. Wow. Yes. Um, well, let's, let's take this call. Good morning, caller. You're live on a Traffic Talk. Good morning, Jade. Good morning, Asim. Good morning. Good morning, Full Officer. Well, Good morning. Mr. Sensei, how are you guys doing? A pleasant morning. We are good. Yeah, I'm good. Um, one of the issues I've been having is that a lot of gas to get burned, and both gas keep going up and down with these traffic lights. The, re the reason why we're not, we're not of the traffic lights, but like when you come down Market Street and you got to go, so for instance, you got to go down by Rams, or you got to go by KFC, and you're going east. You got to go all the way in your tongue to go all the way around, to come all the way back. 
You know what I mean? And honestly speaking, I kind of find that it's a little bit ridiculous because that's like a lot of gas burning. You can't even turn down the road by convent school. You, there's, um, it's like you got to go all the way to the end to come down to go around. And then even if you turn down, say so you turn down your tongue. You understand? I mean, when you turn, you can't come back, so you got to go back. Same way where you're going as if you're going by the, 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 the fire station. Right? And I don't know. I think something needs to be done with India because at the end of the day, it's like you can use all the gas to go all that way to come back all this way. And there's no road you can really turn down because you're still ending up on the same fire station road to go back to where you need to go. Um, my suggestion to you, Carla, is that plan your route before you leave home. That will be much easier as you will have an idea of which street you want to take and you will get there much easier. Now we grad to the no right turn. You cannot turn into the traffic. Otherwise, you'll be creating more work for us in terms of accidents. So that is why the traffic have to flow straight and ahead. And then also the, 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 um, the one down on the bare road, right? The, I think there's the one there by the, the tank, we call the, the fire, the, the gas tank, the matin shell. I think sometimes traffic does cause there a lot because it's a little bit confusing in terms of as if it's okay to turn um, up or you have to go straight. I don't think that there's a clear indication there, and I think there's a lot. It's, it's, it's a little bit confusing, if you ask me, for some people. I mean, may try to use my discretion with certain things, right? But I'm just saying there's some people who will basically be turning, and if it's okay to turn, if it's not okay to turn. I don't think a lot of people is clear with that area, and I find there's a lot of... The accident almost happened in front of me the other day because I think it's already light, and they didn't show if they could turn or not, and they turned, and then they turned back. Like, they, the person, like, they wasn't sure. You know what I mean? So I don't know how you guys can make that part a little bit clearer. Have a blessed day. Thanks, thanks for calling. Um, when uh, we, we intention when school break um, to use the traffic one within the lights area so they could assist drivers in, in the way forward. And as you say, there's a number of people do not know to use use the lights. Uh, many many of us uh, come from country areas. Sometimes we we join we start from country and we hit the the island main or the bus route just to get in town and will not sensitize with the other lights ahead. So you will have times that person will journey up that area. So therefore we. We will assist in any way, but thanks for, for your all suggestion and grievance and your calling and show to, to make the traffic flow a better way for all of us. Yeah, I don't know if you want to continue with the, um, the lighting conversation. Yes, um, as we were saying, when we go out on the road to do our normal traffic operations, whether in the day or night, because the drivers tend to have the same kind of Christmas light flickering, like mm. flickering, how must I put it? Is it and they, they're talking about the headlamps, correct? Yes, yes, yes. Okay. they have them in the headlights, something like blinkers, okay. if you want to call it for better blinkers. We... Section 76 of the Road and Traffic Act gave us the authority to impound any vehicle in violations. And that vehicle will be impounded until the violation is corrected. It doesn't matter whether you are the owner of the vehicle. Once you are driving, you are in charge of that vehicle, you are responsible for that vehicle and the offense committed on that day. And as I said before, we will be impounding all vehicle in violations with any traffic offenses. All right, noted. Um, I'm some people trying to get in in the conversation. Good morning, caller. You're live on Traffic Talk. Good morning. Um, this is talking about traffic lights. Uh, when will the traffic lights in operation up near uh, the cash and carry at Bird Rock because not even painted lines have been put on the road to indicate what lanes there will be and I think it's over a year now. 
a color that light will soon be in effect. <laughs> All right. Uh, thanks, Carla, for your contribution. Um, yeah. Yeah. As uh, as we are saying, with reference to person um, who who driving, we are asking that the lights headlights should be uncolored. Um, we are also asking for people who driving that their vehicle, those who have two lights, the two lights should be on at night and not one. Um, driving with the one light is a head, is an offense. The only the only vehicle supposed to have a, a one headlamp is a motorbike, and as we say, we don't we don't want to see people on the road play playing emergency operators. Um, we tends to see a lot of people driving like like there is a carnival or something with a lot of pretty lights fly into the neighborhood like like the emergency vehicles. Um, we we are saying we need this to, to stop and if not after after issue issue ticket a number of time and we realize the person is a continual offender, we will impound that vehicle until he, he, he verify. So therefore we ask in people Yes, I know none of us want our vehicle to look pretty, uh, look good on the road, but it's, it's an offense. So we, we ask the person to, to stop and use uncolored lights. As I, as I said before, the, the, the motorbike and the pedal bike is the only one supposed to have an, a one light. And with reference to the motorbike, I always stress on the, the makeup shift motorbike. Um, we still seen it happen. We ask people, uh, persons who have the makeup shift motorbike to stop bringing the bikes them on the public road. If seen, person will be arrested and the vehicle will be in pound. As I said, the once it, once it, the bike is propelled by an engine, is now a vehicle. So that vehicle is supposed to be insured and licensed to be on the island main road. So therefore, we ask in person to desist from being those said uh, makeup shift motorbike on the island main road. All right, officers, let's try and um, take this caller. Good morning, caller. You're live on Traffic Talk. Yes. Good morning, you and the police. Good morning. Good morning. This is police without pay. As you've been talking about lights, we have been talking about these vehicles with these different kind of, um, what you call it, um, unacceptable lights. For years, we've been talking since Inspector Carl Brown used to be on the traffic. And he's coming that, yes, we're going to do something about it. We're going to look into it. Well, maybe, maybe when he went to look into it, it was shot because he ain't see the lights them. And then nobody's supposed to be coming back all this time and talk complaining about them lights still. And as you talk about the bike, what these guys, the makeshift bike, put on the motor and the bike and up and down the government street. Now, if a license and an insure vehicle happen to hit one of them, what, 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 what going to happen there? If, if, they, if them and the bike is wrong, because they don't have no license, no permit to be on the road, and no insurance. So I am saying this. Police, you all should take them off the road since yesterday. But anyway, you say you all, you are looking into it, and you're going to do what you all have to do. And we're going to watch and see what's happening. Because too many complain about these vehicles on the road with these kind of funny lights. Got blinking lights in the headlight. So when you think it's an ambulance or an emergency vehicle, it's a private vehicle. And they don't pass police with these things. And police ain't doing nothing. Anyway, I wish you all the best. And everybody, thanks for taking my call. Thanks for calling. Hi, Carla. Thank you so much. Um, so, in 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 um, in conclusion, I I get that you're asking drivers to become compliant with the line relation to the headlamps. Um, um, to remove either the uh, 
differently colored lights, the flashing lights, as well as the headlamp covers that we that we see bouncing around. And if not, the position of the department is to impound the vehicles. Is that that's that's correct? That's correct. All right. Also, um, for the general public notice, blue blue lights is for police, so no other vehicle should be fitted with blue lights. Okay. Um, yeah. While we're on the light, I, I'll speak about the lighting period. By virtue of the powers vested in the licensing authority under Section 2.1 of the Vehicles and Road Traffic Act, Chapter 15.06, the lighting period for motor vehicles in the Federation shall be from 6 p.m. until 5.45 a.m. the succeeding day. And this would have been effected from the 7th of November, 2002. All right, awesome. Um, in relation to lighting, someone is um, asking about one, uh, lights that are under the car, so the, 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 the lights that I'm sure are under the vehicle, as well as somebody is seeking clarification on whether or not these rules also apply to Nevis. We are one federation. Okay. Any, light, any other lights except for the headlights and the sometimes fog lights are unauthorized lights. Okay. Any last words before we wrap up? Um, we'd like the general public to adhere to all traffic rules, especially as it regards to the stoplights, the traffic lights, and be very careful when exiting the Sands Complex in section or junction, as the traffic flow has changed somewhat. Any last words from your sergeant house? Um, just, just a little thing, just saying that person be cautious on the road, and as as we say, um, the lights at San Complex is now open to it. Um, be careful. I know this is what you call for 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 a number of reasons, um, but be cautious on the road. Look before you drive off. All right, guys, appreciate it. Um, thank you for coming again, uh, as usual, um, with lots of information. And also appreciate the fact that you guys have been willing to um, not only take the calls, but take on the consideration some of the suggestions being made by the general public. And um, I'm, sure that I'm sure, based on what I'm seeing, actually, and there is definite some agreeance on the, on the decision taken. In relation to the new the new um, rules at that particular junction so thank you so much for coming i um, look forward to speaking to you guys again um, next week yes sir thanks for having us all right awesome guys we're going to take a quick break and be right back with more island tea right here on with media skn see you in a bit <laughs> Takes your life. Or four six nine five three zero three. Delia Walwyn. People you can trust. Maybe it's the way the brilliant gold liquid reflects or sunshine, or how the bright blue of its label mirrors the clear Caribbean skies overhead. 
Maybe it's the fresh, crisp taste of this beastly cold beer on a scorching hot day. Maybe it's even the way it brings us all together. But one thing is for sure, Carib is very much a part of who we are wherever we're from in the Caribbean. Carib, it's the way we play. Drink responsibly. Hey guys, welcome back to Island T right here on Win Media SKN, where we affect change. Indeed. With the powers that be listen to the suggestions of the sippers. And now you can turn left. One from Port Zante. One day they will pay us for these things, you know. One turn at a time. <laughs> one, you want to say one <laughs> One turn. <laughs> yeah, we can do our one time. We have to, you know, baby steps. Baby steps. Well, I can tell you something, Jade. I, I know, and several people have indicated this that we would like to be able to turn right out of Port Zante because if you're coming out that Port Zante out of the Sands Complex mm -hmm. if you're coming out of the Sands Complex and you're going into town yeah it's a bit of a it's a bit of a challenge to to navigate that but I think that's why I can just walk you know because this driving thing ain't making no sense to me every single Monday I come in here and I get more and more confused you know <laughs> more I don't understand. How am I supposed to pass? A, a, the people who could drive can't even so, navigate okay. the traffic. Yeah, and, and I can tell you something. I it took me it took me a while to figure out some of the loopholes, right? So for instance, mm -hmm. um, she said her name, so I could say it too. And Sister Sensei called in and mm -hmm. spoke to the fact that it's difficult to get around town because of the lack of right turns. <laughs> And then the woman has a plan of wood. Like, miss, it's no, one wood. No, <laughs> one wood. No, but no, 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 no. The wood is the problem right now, you know. <laughs> I, I understand. But at the same time, like, you got to, like, I had to get, like, creative. So, for instance, let's say I'm coming east on Kayon Street and I want to get down to any of the other streets. <laughs> it don't, right? The sides. Right? No, so what, happen, what would happen is I would literally come across. There's two, there's two ways, right? <laughs> Which is ridiculous. But they're ridiculous. One, you have to take, so you, you know you have to take a left. So I would either take the left at um, Victoria Road, which would then mean I would have to come up Victoria Road and find somewhere to turn around. Whether I might, sometimes I go in the park and turn around. Sometimes I go up in the Utah community. Sometimes I just go across by, um, sometimes I go across there by, I think that's the Methodist Church Hall and turn around and come back down and then I could get back in the traffic and then take the, take, take the right out of the bottom of Victoria Road, and then take the left into town. 
Maybe but, they tell uh, you to your tell because right, 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 right. Less than weight and may the, not. Right. Not weight exactly, weight. exactly. The other way to do it would be, and this is what I do most of the time, is I would drive across Kayon Street. Mm-hmm. I would take the left, that road that is right between the... No, I'll take the left. You'll take the left that is right there by the police station. Mm-hmm. Right? I know, okay. Back you, with you. You get up on... What, what road is there? Um, Rosemary Lane. No, uh, Rosemary Lane. Lozak Road, mm-hmm. sorry. And then you come and then you come back down in the traffic by um, the gas station, and then you could navigate from there. So that's you basically have to make a loop and and that block to be able to take a, what would then be a left, which was a right. <laughs> just walk. Just walk. Uh, just pack up and walk. Pack up and walk. Just. Because one, um, the park in Kayon and just walk. Just walk for. Walk for. Because that's the closest. That's the best. They put all these traffic lights in order to try to help traffic to be better, and they made it worse. Jade, when the, traffic lights, when the traffic lights when the traffic lights came into effect, right? My suge- I had two issues. One, I was like, I think it was a hasty implementation, right? The second thing was let the traffic wardens do the do work. Any, and the problem is now the traffic lights there, and we still need the traffic wardens to direct the traffic. The traffic don't make the traffic lights don't make no sense. Take them back. To undo it. It is not too late. No, no, no. I know y'all don't spend all this money and bring in all no, these people. No, they, and they, 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 they ain't take out yet. They oh my, this is why I'm walking on. We're going to be a fit country because mm. if I just pack up somewhere and walk, avoid all this nonsense. Okay, care might be kind of far. Care might be kind of far. Park, park in economy. Park in economy. I mean, you got to drive your tongue to go anywhere. Everywhere you got to go, you got to go your tongue to do it. <laughs> so just park in your tongue. Your tongue are Greenlands. <laughs> well, more, Greenlands are the village. Yeah. Because every, literally everywhere, you cannot make no turn until you reach it and you turn out the village. Why you put on this? Anyway, I'm going to talk about some music here, guys. Yeah, I yeah. can't drive, nor do I. Yeah, yeah. yeah man. That's all your problem. No, man. It's like, frustrating for you. It's frustrating, but like she said, like really and truly, that's the only that's the only advice you could have is to plan your route. And you're going to have to... What happens is sometimes you're going to have to get off the, the, the unbeaten path, right? You have to... I've gone to the unbeaten path. You have to <sighs> go up on Lozak Road here and there. You might have to go through, yeah, you know, you find ways to. But for instance, the other one too is if you're on Kayon Street and you're trying to get, um, let's say, anywhere north, right? Mm-hmm. You either have to go all the way down through town, meaning you could take a left here by maybe Kayon, like by Church Street, or College Street got, and then come across the bay, or come across Rosemary Lane, come up Fort Street, or go around by the square, to get back up. Like, let's say you're going to Connery, right? Or you have to drive all the way through town. I think you're able to make a right onto Market Street, and then you're able to get up. So you have to either get to Market Street, and then come up Market Street, and go up. But you can't take a right by um, Victoria Road. You can't take a right by the gut. So I remember when it was simpler times, you know. Simpler times. Simpler times. Yeah. The traffic water would just tell you go and you get to your route. Now you have to drive. Mm-hmm. Gas done high. Anyway. Mm-hmm. Again, aside for you. I trying to work on the license thing, but every time they come in here, it's farther, farther away from me. I think SH is suggesting when we go we, we learn to drive in the traffic lights. It's I don't think it's that people don't know how to use the traffic lights. People know how to use the traffic lights. I think people just see it more as um creating other issues as opposed to solving the one that we had yeah, the, the tra- issue the issue the issue of the traffic lights i think was to try and and um assist with the flow of traffic um so the the this the, the hope is that the traffic lights would help traffic to flow more smoothly i think what is happening is that people are now complaining about the additional routes that they have to take as well as the now lack of parking that has come into effect because of the implementation of the traffic lights. I don't, line. so I don't, yeah. Right, right, right. So I don't, so it's not a matter that people don't know how to use the traffic lights. They just see it as creating other issues. We got all anyway. these words and we can't use them. Hey, it's tea time. That's new. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah, okay. I switched up now and then. Yeah, man, yeah, listen. listen. <laughs> <laughs> That's what the traffic department said. And now here we are. Anyway, 
The SKM Prime Minister offers medical assistance to passenger in distress on flight to, from MIA to SKM. So, our good old Prime Minister um, did a good deed. He saved a life this weekend. Oh. Yeah, man. All in a day's work. I'm telling you. <laughs> <laughs> Watch out right now. This is the best Prime Minister in the, the, the region just half of this, eh? Yeah, that's what people say. What about you? Yeah, what did this it's, like, it's like a movie. It's like a movie. It's kind of like a movie. A prime minister of a country saved a man's life on a plane. <laughs> the other people... <laughs> the other people in the other countries watching them and they're saying, my prime minister would have tried to give him a tax. <laughs> 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 you're yeah. funny. You're funny on the internet. But reports re- reaching our news desk have indicated that the Prime Minister, Honorable Terence Drew, gave medical assistance to a passenger on flight, on a flight from the United States to St. Kitts. When he reached out to Adelcia Conifer Lance, the press secretary in the office of the Prime Minister, who confirmed that Dr. Terence Drew did medically assist a passenger on a flight from the U.S. to St. Kitts at about 3.50 p.m. local time. Help was requested by the flight attendant and the Prime Minister offered assistance. The passenger was reportedly taken off the flight in Florida to a nearby hospital for further care. Okay. And I talk, I talking about the people I'm never here. You see, this is why. Good thing he wasn't here. Good thing he wasn't here. You know, save a dead. life. Save a life. How we gonna save <laughs> lives if he here? <laughs> hey, this is like you know you're watching the movies and you're always here. Is there is there a doctor on the plane? But there was a doctor on the plane. I tell you, it just have to be with Prime Minister. <laughs> This is what you call multitasking. Oh my gosh. Mm. <laughs> They're gonna make a movie about this, you know? They're gonna make a movie about this, Jade. Definitely. They're gonna make a movie about this. You're right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So right. He definitely gonna get. But right now, watch you. The amount of marriage proposals and I was seeing. Oh, but listen! It is wild. It is wild. The amount of compliments. Nothing about the, the fact that he saved my life, eh? Is the fact of how good he look. Is he married? I'm like, y'all thirsting over my prime minister? So this is like, people are like, I got this to like, I'm on, on Twitter. Twitter. Oh, yeah, Twitter, Twitter is on Oh my gosh. I'm like, y'all doing so much. Congratulate him. But y'all want to thirst over him for saving a life? Understandable, eh? but still. Kind of weird. <laughs> <laughs> but that's, you know. That's kind of how it is. That's yeah, yeah. It is. yeah. yeah uh, but should I say congratulations to that man? <laughs> no, no, I can't hear nobody studying here. The, 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 but, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, what, but what we can say is, um, you know, wishing him good health. Hopefully, whatever the issue was, he, you know, he's he's over it now, and yes. um, continues to live a healthy life for yes. many many years to come. See, this is why you should come to Saint Kitts. Your life might be saved. <laughs> you were talking about Shay Walk of Saint Kitts. It's dangerous. Dangerous. Oh, they're saving lives before you even reach here. <laughs> Don't play with us. Speaking of women, something about women, right? And slandering saying it is getting outrageous. Yeah, really. Okay. Okay. Y'all are doing so much. And then in turn, we're going to do the most. Yeah. So. Yeah, the response from petitions and divisions is generally pretty. Um, I've, I don't tell her I stopped trying to be the main character. It never ends well. Mm-hmm. What happened though? Apparently, some woman bring she oh. back so from wherever she was yes i actually gone over by good good sunshine with the, the amazing food and drinks right had a killer bit and then said that the man put something in it because she depressed miss you was depressed before you drink the drink that's not how <laughs> depression works that is not how depression works first of all what drugs we got to cause depression that you could drop in a killer bee? yo <laughs> why is it depression drugs i know there's antidepressants I make think it, I, th- make sense, miss. I think what happened is that she left St. Kitts and Nevis and got depressed and couldn't understand that it's just that miss you just probably just like the place too much. No, but she waited while she was here. Oh no. I think it's the thought of leaving the had a depressed. The thought of leaving, the thought of leaving had a depressed. And she tried to blame it on the killer bee. Don't so so where did that. she where did she post this this information? So okay. So that is where this thing gets crazy now. Because as somebody yeah. who travels, right, people really depend on the experiences of others, the reviews. But I don't know, shall I? And trip advisor. As in, don't know, shall I? Uh, Jade, I'm just saying. Because even if even if people know, shall I? You have to be mindful of the effect that your words could have mm-hmm. on not only the business, 
right? But the island, right? Mm-hmm. So you go in on TripAdvisor, go right and says, oh, you're getting drug at one of the more popular, like, uh, one of the most popular um restaurants. Why are they drugging you, miss? Why would they drug you? And then drug you to cause depression. Like, who does drug people to cause depression? <laughs> Listen, you are not an anomaly, miss. This has never happened, ever. Okay? Don't, please don't lie on, please don't lie on sunshine. <laughs> Do not lie on sunshine. Because we will come for you. And they have been. They have been and she cares? Of course, what? Find out again, find it. So they find on sp- on social media, like on I don't Facebook, have them, I don't want to find your social media yet, but I know they went on TripAdvisor and I think they actually reported the post and, you know, did some good things because nonsense. No, ma'am, you're talking nonsense, okay? Yeah, yes, Killer Bee is a little strong. A little strong. It's not for the faint of heart. Might get a little drunk. You might want to go for a swim and all of these things. What? Depression? Nah. Nah. No, 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 no. A matter of fact, you might be an antidepressant. <laughs> you're going to get happy after you have a couple of Killer Bees, but you don't get depressed. Listen, don't come back. Ban her. Whoever she <laughs> be, don't like her back it. Oh, and celebrate a popular is exiling locals and banning foreigners. Yeah, and she gonna it. be the first person that we need. Mm, she on the, the ban list? Yeah, she, of course she on the ban list. Of course she on the ban list. She, the woman who, the scammer, yeah. who talked about we tried to take what she, she, she fenty at the airport. Calado. Calado, yeah, definitely got to get banned. Yeah, them there, ban list. Mm-hmm. Cause, oh, I'm doing nonsense. Anyway, we have an update to a very important story. Oh, okay, but we love when we get updates because they are few and far between. Yes, this is not an update from Tinkits, however. Oh. Yeah, we don't get those. Oh, um, boy. No, like, we get one the other day about Hush Puppy. Good. Yeah, but we, they, we weren't the one who... Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, uh, remember Kevin Samuel? Kevin Smith, sorry? Kevin Samuel died too, but you know. <laughs> Kevin Smith. Who's Kevin Smith? The Jamaican um, preacher who built an act. Oh, the arch, the arch priest. Yeah, who was trying to save the lives of think, his flock by killing some of them. I think the I think the um the correct term that was used at the time of the report was cult leader. Yes. Yeah, cult leader, and I don't think preacher was. Oh. Yeah. yeah. My bad. Well, <laughs> hold on, let me see. So wait, what happened? He. Well, they are waiting. His uh, he, they, they are waiting. They are waiting. His return. Return where? He to went earth? on the act. To not to earth, friend. To earth. They think what? that he will rise again, like the second coming of Christ. He's supposed to re- be resurrected. Apparently. So the church still going on. Yeah. The, uh, so from the update that I read, <laughs> the church is still operating in secret, <laughs> awaiting their the return, return of their grand leader. To come and save their souls, as him. Wow. Wow. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So after pe- pe- people literally died at this thing, you know. They, they, they were sacrificed. Yeah, people died. Mm-hmm. Yeah. People died. And so after that, the cult still continued. Oh, yes. One death don't stop a cult. It was one person? It wasn't. No, no, no. I'm talking about Kevin Smith. Oh. His death. The other death was to continue the cult, so of course they don't stop it. Remember there was the sacrifice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well obviously it worked, Jay. They might be onto something. It working. The cult continuing. For blame Kevin Samuels, yeah. Or Kevin Smith. Oh no, he's just Shirena. No. 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 Ooh, that was Kevin Smith nearby. Yes, yes, we are here laughing at the back come back for two. <laughs> <laughs> no, but Jade, I think this just speaks to the faith, right? How the, the how 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 powerful influences, especially when presented um, in these ideological ways, like and these theological ways, like is like uh, the impact of of these types of things don't just go away overnight, yeah. Let's start a cult. I've been thinking about it, yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean, listen. We have to figure out what we, what we believe yeah, in and things. Yeah. Yeah. It's not good. It's not good. I don't know if I if I have the type of charisma necessary, but I could definitely no, try. No, we could do it as them. Yeah? We got people watching us, you know? Ooh. With us as that, as them, we have people literally watching us <laughs> daily. <laughs> have them come in and sip the island tea for show? <laughs> <laughs> we might as well. Oh, man. 
Kwa sababu Kose really na bare. That is crazy. But no belief belief is powerful, Jane. Nah, it is, it is. It's, it's one thing when you believe but your belief is one of them things that isn't easily swayed. Nah, cause they really believe this man about to rise no, from the dead with Jesus, take, eh? So the fact that they, the fact that they continued with the teaching and stuff afterwards is 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 is, is, is wow. Why? But I'm wondering if there is another person who has kind of reason to lead. Because again, it might be a situation where there might be someone taking advantage of the belief of 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 these people, you know. Or is it just that they, that there is a genuine belief and the, the the followers have, and that the followers have um taken it upon themselves to think. And not only that, you know, the the the, the, the psyche of persons is um capable of incredible things. Meaning, after this whole thing went down. Where there was the deaths of several persons, the leader is gone. The psyche might decide to protect itself, you know, and and like just it can't believe that this is was not real. It just can't believe that. As them, these so people this, are the perfect people to take advantage of. They are already <laughs> in a vulnerable, vulnerable position. Right. They are already indoctrinated into this way of thinking that yes, mm. this man was the second coming of Christ, and he's going to lead us to salvation on this ark that he built. In his backyard. I mean, the real the truth about it, though, if Jesus was gonna come back, I mean, he ain't come back at Kevin Smith. No, but he, Jamaica would be a good place. I mean, St. Kitts too. I wasn't going to Jamaica first. You wasn't going to Jamaica. There's too much work. You bring him St. You come to St. Kitts. Yeah, St. Kitts later. You gotta start smaller than him. Or maybe you should uh, tackle the problem head on. Mm. So you gotta start in the real, the real countries. Cause St. Kitts ain't got that kind of that issues. We quite wait, quite not low right now. Man, never gonna lie. I forget quite what's happening and all. Mm. Shocking. Well, lot of rabbis going out with them, okay? yeah, Don't rap me in a car, I know. It's a lot of fake jewelry <laughs> and fake glasses. Don't come in. <laughs> I'm going to be thoroughly disappointed. Really disappointed. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. All my money going into massages right now. See? I don't know how money need, though. Where are you going? That's the biggest disappointment they could find. <laughs> Don't rabbis. <us. laughs> oh, We're not man. good candidates. At no, all. but I mean, I believe that it's gonna be the, the way that these beliefs have taken root in the in the hearts and souls and the minds of these people. I don't know how you get past that without serious counseling and like. And these yeah. ain't the type of people are going to counseling as them because it's hard for you to convince them that what they believe in ain't make no sense. We know it make no sense, eh? But they're yeah, fully. But every every every. Ideology has a tinge of truth. No, no, no. Of what other people may call foolishness or insanity. Everyone, every every single religion has those things because there has to be some aspect of the supernatural. Mm -hmm. There has to be some aspect of this isn't normal. There has to be some, so once you believe that, then you 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 have to take that part of the idea ideolo ideology with it. And that was a crazy story. Right? Imagine you in a Cut. church, right? So there's crazy sto there's crazy stories in the yes, Bible. Yes, but I mean for these people. Mm -hmm. Specifically talking about these people. And for people who don't know the story. Kevin Smith was a where say where cult leader, cult a cult leader. leader in Jamaica who um promised to take his followers. His followers on a act because apparently the world was ending. Yeah. And so in order for him to do this, he had them live on the mm -hmm. compound that he created started taking all their monies and you know possessions and all of these things because well you need worldly things when you're going on the ark of course so instead of um you know animals it was going to be the people this time and he actually built this ark i need to see a picture of the ark and what to do with it like what they matched up what to do with no, the ark? put a museum or something that, that's literally what i mean i mean this is the caribbean this is the Caribbean, so I wouldn't be surprised if somebody in Tech would and like make a fence out of it or something. You know them. But <laughs> yeah, so but before he was able to take his flock to salvation, <laughs> um, he sacrificed a couple of them, you know, because everybody can go. Right, right, everybody right, can right, go. Right, right. Somebody has to stay and be the sacrifice. So he sacrificed some of the people and some of the church people was like, huh, this is odd. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Let me go tell police because I don't feel like this is what's supposed to be happening. 
police got involved, arrested a couple of people, including the leader. And on, you know, they had him in the station talking to him, realizing like, yeah, this man is literally insane. But while transporting him to his destination, I guess another jail, it just so happened that they got into a car accident and he was killed Aye, in said accident. Wow, crazy. But hey, yo, the story so the story wild, yeah. Yeah, Fred. Netflix, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> I thought this would have been out by now. Uh, SK Flix, we gotta get SK Flix going. No, we got enough here. We got enough things here. No, we need, to actually, we need to actually make an SK Flix. Well, we have SM, SM, is it here before SMR, no? MSR. <laughs> <laughs> We have MSR Media that need to jump on some of the stories. But yeah, he was killed in a car accident and his flock decided he shall rise again like the second coming of Christ. And they're preparing for him. Love it. These people need serious um, help. They need serious, yeah, serious help. Yeah, but it is hard to convince people that they need help. Because you need to know that you need help for you to actually get it. Eh? You, need, you need to believe uh. that you need help as him. They don't believe that. They believe what they th- be- believe believing in is actual truth. So there's that. Yeah, and I, I think you know people sometimes let let people believe what they believe, but Not one of one of the um one of the distinguishing traits of a cult is the fact that there is either a group of individuals or an individual who benefits personally mm-hmm. from their involvement in the um in the in the in the ideology leadership etc 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 so when you see situations where people are being taken advantage of just like in other situations not because it's not a religion and thing like we're gonna we have to step in and, and we have to step in and, and intervene because and then and then to make it worse apart from just um being taken advantage of whether financially and and emotionally and etc all of that people actually died yeah man so this is this going this gone into a whole other level of danger now so i don't i don't know well uh, there you go wow Wow. So, so it go. Anyway, it's break time because we have an interview up next. So, guys, we'll take a very short break and be right back with more Island Tea. Stick and stay. Shirley is celebrating 70 years. Can you believe it? Everyone loves a Shirley biscuit known for its rich, creamy taste, as well as the iconic house and flower design. We all know Shirley is the perfect on-the-go snack and it's truly the Caribbean's favorite. Simply put, there's nothing quite like a Shirley biscuit. I can't imagine life without it. I too love my Shirley. It's the Caribbean flavor, Shirley. Them there. We are top man, we take charge. I've no wish you know we are held on us. Last like a star, we come at Galapagos. Over the wish, we take it too far. Take charge, take charge. We are at Gal, we set the trend. Magnum, we drink for the top man, then. Wine with the style, no stop from spin. At Blem, back Ben, and take charge, take charge. Magnum, Magnum Tonic Wine, for the real star, then. Take charge, take charge. Must be 18 or older, drink responsibly.
Hey guys, welcome back to Island T right here on Win Media SKN. We have some friends in the studio with us this morning um, from the Small Business Development Center. I know that there's a lot of interesting things happening on the horizon that they're going to tell us a bit about. Um, but before they do that, I'll have them introduce themselves. Morning, guys. Good morning. Good morning. I'm Delwin Delaney, Senior ad Advisor, Business Advisor within the Small Business Development Center. Good morning. My name is Irvin Daniel, Trade and Business Development Coordinator in the Small Business Development Center. All right. Awesome. Awesome. Well, um, of course, the, you, well, Delwin, for sure, you guys have been here before. Yeah. Um, and have spoken to us about a lot of um, interesting things happening at the the SBDC, right? And um, I know today is no different, but there's something special happening. Uh, what is it? Okay, so every third week in November is Global Entrepreneurship Week where we celebrate the entrepreneurs. And this year, I think, would be maybe our sixth year um, being involved in GEW, as we like to call it. And we have, as you mentioned, a pack week um, that I'm sure persons will be interested in and will be very engaging um, starting from today. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. So what uh, what are some of these activities? Okay. So just to run down, um, today will be the minister's speech as a way of sort of opening opening the week for us, and that is um, our minister, the Honourable Samuel Duggins, Minister of Entrepreneurship and Small Business. Then on Tuesday, that's tomorrow Tuesday, we have Youth in Business. We will along with the, the team, along with the minister, will be in and around visiting businesses, youth businesses, youth-driven businesses, um, you know, engaging them, finding out what's been happening, how, they, how is business, um, how are they preparing for the Christmas season, etc. And that will be on Tuesday. On Wednesday, we have a press statement, a live press statement by the, the minister again, where we, he would be outlining some of the plans for the for entrepreneurs as it relates to the, um, the latter part of, of the year to finish out 2022 and as well as plans for 2023. Um, this is something I would encourage persons to um, stay tuned to, locked into. Um, it will be live on our um, social media pages and Facebook, YouTube, um, we will be disseminating the link um, in short order. On the, in the evening, I think this has been a, a, a more talked about um, so far on, on social media, is a panel discussion on cannabis. And we will be it as cannabis, as cannabis as a business. Mm. Yeah, and the, the, we have a star-studded um, all-star panel hosted by Patrice Harris. We have the Honorable Gat Wilkin, Dr. Garfield Alexander, Stuart Laplace, Everton Delaney, or Blender, as we know him on, on social media, um, Bingy Nuts, and Ras Aya. Right? So again, Cannabis, it's the 16th. It will be um, streamed live on ZIZ, 8.30 p.m., Honorable Gat Wilkin, Dr. Garfield Alexander, Stuart Laplace, he's from the Bureau of Standards, Everton Delaney, Blender, Bingy Nats, who is a loctician, and Ras Aya, who is from the Cannabis Commission. And Delwin, I think we are having a live audience with this as well, right? That's correct, that's correct. So if people want to be part of the live audience, how do they do that? Um, if persons want to be a part of the live audience, we have limited numbers. We are only looking for 15 persons. So if you're, you're interested, jump on it ASAP. Um, you can contact our office at 467-1203 or 467-1634 and be a part of the live audience. We'll also be fielding questions, um, calling questions and questions from the live audience as well. All right, guys, and um, also, just so you know, where is the venue? Oh, sorry, the venue is at the ZIZ um, 
TV station, okay. right? And it's all it will be streamed on ZIZ online as well. Okay. And this event happens 8.30. So uh, we covered everything as it relates to cannabis, whether it be legal, um, medicine, um, standards, uh, users, um, yeah. producers, everything. Everything. Well, we recognize that the framework to handle businesses of this nature is not in place as yet. We don't want to wait until it happens. We want to get our people thinking about what they can do so when it, when it is ready, they are first in line to take advantage of whatever there is. Right. All right. Awesome. That was good. Yeah. So, and we, 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 we packed already and we only at Wednesday. We only, we only at Wednesday. Hmm. So, on Thursday, we engaged the, the farmers and we a dominant agribusiness where our officers will take the farmers to the, through the process of their business improvement. So it's basically they're building a business improvement plan as it relates to export readiness, um, digitalization, um, innovation, and so that the businesses can, the farmers can now think about their business, not just coming on 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 the weekends or on Saturdays, Saturday mornings and selling from the stalls and that sort of thing. But also thinking outside of, of the realm of, of St. Kitts and Nevis. And to cap off the week, we have our business expo. We have our business expo um, that will be happening at the Independence Square starting from 12 noon until 7 p.m. 12 noon until 7 p.m. And presently, we have about 30 businesses that will be um, showcasing their products and services. So come on out and support the Business Expo. Um, purchase, if you need to purchase. Just be a part. Um, get the necessary information um, that, is, that, is, that will be showcasing, showcased rather, on the 18th of November. That is this Friday. Awesome, and you said at, even at this point you already have 30 businesses. Right, so we, um, I think initially we wanted to do about 20 businesses, mm -hmm. and so, yeah, we're up to 30, and we... we response we, has been so good. Yeah, we, 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 we basically, yeah, we leave it at 30. It. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it. yeah, we have to cap it now. All right. So, I mean, we have businesses from the food and beverage, um, uh, who, uh, persons who do hair, uh, makeup, uh, bags, um, everything, Clothes, yeah. clothing, uh, food and beverage, um, persons who do products, soaps, you know, you name it, it will be there uh, on show come Friday. Awesome. And this is from 12 p.m. to 7 p.m.? 12 p.m. to 7 p.m., that's uh, correct. So people, you have more than enough time um, mm -hmm. to get down to the square and kind of check out what's happening um, be a part of it. Um, like you said, there's going to be information on hand as well as products and services that you could engage directly with the small businesses to um, yeah, to pick up. Yeah. Right. Good stuff. And all our officers would be there as well. So even if you are a business or interested in getting into business, you could come there and have a conversation with us. We are located at the Bladens Commercial Development, and I know a lot of people don't know where that is, but everyone knows where the Independent Square is, so <laughs> you can come to the square and have a conversation with us and find out how, you know, about the services that we provide at the Small Business Development Center. So um, we provide a little bit of something for everybody. And I, was, I would suppose that after the press statement by the minister, persons will have a lot of questions, a lot of inquiries, and so um, our doors are open. 8 to 4, as, as my colleague would have mentioned, but also you, we can be engaged at the Agri-Fair for more information. Well, it seems like, seem like you guys know about some exciting announcements to come. Yep. Uh, <laughs> yep. All right. I'll leave it as yep. All right. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, when you guys, I mean, when you guys, um, when the announcements are made, um, of course, we always um, have an open door for you guys to be able to come in and share with our um, listeners. Like, uh, we believe a, uh, a lot of our listeners um, are involved in small business, um, are involved in some even uh, some endeavor to try and earn extra income 
So, you know, we all, we always look forward to hearing from you guys about ways that they could improve their businesses and the services that they deliver. So um, thank you guys so much for coming. But before we, we, we wrap up, um, could you just one more time, just quickly um, run back through um, what we can expect this week? Okay, so today, the 14th, is the minister's speech. Tomorrow, Tuesday, the 15th, would be the youth in business visits by the minister. On the 16th would be the cannabis panel discussion in the evening. In the day, we'll have the press statement by the prime Mini by the Mini minister. Um, that will be at the ICT center. On the 17th would be the agribusiness um, forum at the agriculture conference room. And on the 18th would be the business expo in the square from 12 p.m. till 7 p.m. All right, awesome. Lots to get into. It's a packed week, but um, definitely something that appeals to a wide cross section of the population, a wide cross section of people. There's a lot to, to get involved in. Jade, I know you're listening to the, the panel discussion. I suppose they didn't put you on it. I, listen. <laughs> Jade was on it the last time, right? When no, we was no, up no, there. I, I, was, I, I want to be on this one. You want to be on this <laughs> But be a part of the live audience. I'll try. Yeah, <laughs> and then you can ask your questions, relative, uh, related questions, and that sort of thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'll try. I, but I was a part of the last one. Oh, nice. Yeah, nice. he was. He was. But um, yeah, guys, appreciate it big time. Um, thanks so much for continuing to share with us information. Um, and we really you know, love the work that you guys are doing there at the SBDC. Um, continue to, to, to do it, man. I'm looking forward to this week, big time. I right, appreciate All right. it. Thanks. All right, thanks. thanks. Mm -hmm. All right, guys. Well, we have a few minutes left, and um, <laughs> we do have some interesting articles. <laughs> <coming out. What? laughs> I was going to say interesting articles to run through, but that may be the wrong choice of words. <laughs> <laughs> this is the Adam's pick. No, 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 no. I go in home. I go in home. He side first. I'm just putting it out here. I did. That way, tell me yesterday. I told you it's I saw it, okay. and I was afraid that you would bring it. So who was the one who picked it? That's just because I had to do the one cheat, friend. Yeah, I didn't tell you about it either. When I see interesting articles and things, I send them to you. But I didn't send you this one. <laughs> you should have. <laughs> that's, that's good. We got a few minutes, good. <laughs> so, as um, there's a few ways that you show love to a spouse when they pass. You know, some are very unconventional, but most of the times it's done out of love as them. And admiration for that partner and for the fact that you need to keep them close to your heart. <laughs> keep them close indeed. And not the body parts. Like you, yeah, but sometimes, you know. You have to get creative with it as them. The favorite place to be. You have to get creative with it. <laughs> next, next to them, Jade. Yes. Of sorts. So, Oh my god. <laughs> what? I'm going home. That's no. what I'm saying. I'm going home. No, you're not. You gotta carry me home, Mazim. How you gonna go left me? How you gonna go left me? You gotta me that. So an Australian woman wearing her sex toy at the airport was stopped by security. Of course she was stopped by security, Jade. I mean it's metal, so Yeah, you know, of course. When they do the scan, when they do the scan. Yeah, yeah, they're like Make she, make she beeping. Yeah, why, she, why are you beeping here? <sighs> I ain't not just, just drug trafficking. Many, many reasons. Yeah. This wasn't the one they thought about though. Mm. So authorities detained the young woman only to find out she was wearing a toy with her boyfriend's ashes inside. Oh my gosh. Love. <sighs> were you itchy all of a sudden? <laughs> I think that is what you call true love. That's what true love is? You could do without that, yeah. Yeah, I know. <laughs> oh, I mean, if somebody loved me in a true way. Yes. And you have to pass away. And you want to be close to that person all the time. Okay. So this, <laughs> is, the, this is the thing for me, right? This wasn't... This was, the, it seems as though there was a lot of thought put into this. Yes. But there was still a few issues that were overlooked yes because in theory because what happened would have been 
she was traveling, obviously. Mm-hmm. She had her, she wanted to travel with her boyfriend's ashes. Mm-hmm. I believe what that means is that in general, you have to, I think you have to declare that you have the remains of somebody if you like. I don't know. So, it, I, 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 feel, I, tried. so I feel like, yeah, I feel like she was trying to circumvent the paperwork. In a very creative way. But what happened was she didn't know that when you're traveling, they scan you. She must know. I don't. This is the first time you travel. But no, because sometimes you're allowed to keep a certain amount of metal, like your watch and your belt oh, and so yeah, on. Yeah, 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 so yeah. she probably felt like, oh, this is hidden deep. <laughs> this is hidden deep. It, they probably won't. And you don't want to put your boyfriend like in your bag. No, that's the wood. <laughs> you have to keep him close. Very. I tell you, it's p- f- favorite place to be. Yeah, getting creative with the sex toy thing, Megale. I please, if I ever die, don't let nobody do me that. <laughs> <laughs> you don't let nobody create, create me and put me in any kind of sex toy. That is wild, okay? Like, what is? Sometimes I just be home reading articles, right? And that's how I know I'm just a normal, regular person. Because yeah, regular, these, regular, good. Yeah, cause these thoughts never cross my mind, you know. Yep. Never ever. I've never been. Hmm. You know what? In my significant other dies. Nope. Don't even continue. You would not have that thought. No. You even if I cremate him, I am not going to then place his ashes in a sex toy. That is rude. And how all of them fit in there? There's Jade, so many questions Jade, that no, I have. Jade, no. She had them. Yes, Witty. That's where she had them. I don't even think Witty got the right idea. You know. She had them in a sex toy up she um, women pads. She had them up she women's pads. That wasn't up she women. What do you know? Jade, do you see what kind of sex toy it was? Yes. However, I was hoping. No, 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 no. That's not. No. No, that's not. I. Jade, I told you, I read, the, there is an at, actual report on it, and Jade. <laughs> that's not where she... I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> that's not... This I thought you bad. understood that's what was going on. This was my bad. I misinterpreted where she had the tie, and it makes it worse now. I that, understand. Yes, you understand what I'm saying? Oh, my gosh. Well, hey. Who can judge love? Us. Yes. We should. <laughs> yes, indeed. We need to bring back judging, you know. I keep saying... Jade, I keep saying this. No, we need to. I keep saying this. Because if I was the TSA agent to scan you and find out that you had your boyfriend ashes in a sex toy up your nether regions, I judge you fully. Yeah, of course. It should be judged. And I want to believe that she would actually go and face a judge. Eh? She's going to be judged, like, legally. Yeah, man. Because I don't think Rightfully you, so I don't think you could just like take human remains like on planes and take them from border to border and them thing. I feel like there's some paperwork you have to fill out, like I maybe present a death certificate, no. something. <laughs> oh, so you, you didn't realize that? Okay. okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> you didn't know? Oh, okay. As if I saw the sex toy and I was like, "Ain't no way." So it got to be. Oh no, there was way. Axeman. <laughs> you are so correct. She had it between the brown very was, yes. She did. She she, she did. <laughs> she did. <laughs> she <laughs> did. <laughs> yeah, Jade, you have to announce. You have to announce. And see it, announce. Have to see it. Sorry, announce. She did. Thank you very much. You gotta be careful. People could misinterpret. <laughs> misinterpret. Jade, you could just read another article, please. I tell, you, I tell you I was going home here. I tell you I was going home. I tell, no, tell me though, really, but you know. I tell you I, I was going home. Hear. You don't hear. I thought it was different to it with you. That's why I was like, nah, that's fine. I mean, they're fine, but you know. Okay. <laughs> oh, boy. Um. Guess that race. <laughs> Do you know? <laughs> you know yeah. the complexion already. Oh, you know the complexion of them. You know they look like us. Yeah, they don't look like us. I should like the type of person that would do it too. Jed, let's move on, yeah? Mm. Uh, so there's an increase. Like, where you go from there? Where did you be the last? Where, you go, where, did, where did you go from? I did because I just... So I said to go that.
<laughs> I didn't. I didn't realize. I didn't stop. Oh, you didn't. Re- oh, Le- okay. Just let me. Let me just say. <laughs> I was the one who last night tell Jade no, no. He she did. she didn't listen to me. No, he did. She didn't listen to me. And I'm glad I didn't say, eh? but I. Because <laughs> now everybody that traumatizes me. Where Love so, it. Where is Sony for creating it? They don't hear. Jade, let's read another article. There's nothing there talking about finance. <laughs> <laughs> no. There's nothing about health. Yes. There's that. There. Let's see. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Let's forget this moment happened. <laughs> <laughs> let's just. Let's see. Yeah. Oh boy. So, um, Paho has reported an increase in cases of diabetes across the Caribbean. Better? Say that again? Better? <laughs> Paho reports increase in cases of diabetes across the Caribbean. Yes. Axman, shut up. <laughs> shut up. And let it go. <laughs> let us move on. <laughs> I don't know. We'll keep adding to it. <laughs> Whew. But Paho, Paho just realizing this? Yes, apparently. Paho eh, realize he got people nine and ten running around with diabetes now. Paho. Okay. Well, yeah. the, the, maybe they're saying it's been an increase since the last increase because it has <laughs> been constantly increasing. It has. A new report from by the Pan American Health Organization says the number of people with diabetes in the Americas, including the Caribbean, has more than tripled in oh. three decades. Oh, that's what they're saying. That's what they're saying because. It has been. They can move out of this. this stuff. No, nobody studied nothing. Sh- I tell you. Nobody studied nothing. Diabetes is important. The the stuff and the fact that this woman. <laughs> yeah, this woman had she husband behind her the whole time. Let me ask you a question. You think she had to buy two tickets? No, I think that was what she was running from. She was running from buying two tickets. Because she needed the extra ticket, she would have put it on the seat. Mm. Not in her nether region. Like, do not stick ash. Anyway. My God. <laughs> Paho's pa- panorama of diabetes in the Americas related. Re- sorry, really. Re- Lord, I can't even read now how I traumatized. <laughs> released ahead of World Diabetes Day on today, I guess. Says growing rates of obesity. Poor diets and lack of physical activity, among other factors, have contributed to a more than threefold increase in the numbers of adults living with diabetes in the Americas in the past 30 years. Wow. <sighs> Every time I look at the life, it gets worse. Mm, yeah, good. The report, therefore, calls on regional countries to improve early diagnosis, increase access to quality care for diabetes control, and develop strategies to promote healthy lifestyles and nutrition. See, the last one is all we need. Yeah. The last one is all we need. Like, until we get to a point where... <clears throat> let's be honest, Jade. Mm-hmm. Yes, of course, our eating habits are cultural, right? Mm-hmm. But the culture changing because, obviously, it's been rising over the last 30 years. So, yes, things that we're eating now, our grandparents wasn't eating at least not in the same at the same rate no, like and not only and 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 not only that but the, and all these things not only that they used to walk themselves to the bone mm-hmm. right a lot of us we come and we sit down in office in office all day all day right so there's a lot of these other factors so until we're able to change the culture and put things in place that going to lessen the cost of healthy eating mm. oh that's a big one that is the main one jade a lot of people would eat healthier if it was cheaper. Yeah. If they could afford it. If they could afford it. It is very difficult to buy healthy food. Food's expensive. A bag of grapes is $30. $30? Jade, Jade, don't get me started, Jade. I spend $120 on grapes a week. Ridiculous. Ridiculous. Vegetables, exp- and, and lettuce is $10 as him. A lettuce. A lettuce. And the lettuce is just water and, and a little and a little piece of leaf. How? 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 We all expect us to eat healthy. We cannot afford it. We legit cannot afford it. I am. Rice so- is cheaper. White rice too. 
White waist is cheaper. The bleach, the bleach waist is cheaper than the actual waist where you just pick and put in the bag. Then brown waist. The waist that you have to do extra things to. Cheaper than the waist that you just have to put in the bag. You just come from Dominica, you know, so all of a sudden you feel like yeah, you're yeah, the you biggest. Know, you know, all of us go move to Dominica because all of us <laughs> cannot move to Dominica. <laughs> it is huge, but it's not that huge. No, okay? but, but no, but Jade, <clears throat> we both have friends who have unfortunately, um, you know, had, you know, either issues with the insulin or uh, have been diagnosed with full-blown diabetes, mm -hmm. right? I mean, it's a friend. I mean, it's a friend. They're talking about people our age, young. Yeah, man. Right? Young people. I just heard about another young lady who is in her mid-20s, 25, 26, somewhere around here, just again diagnosed with diabetes. i looking around at the young children running around. Well, rolling around because a, a, a lot of them aren't running. They're not running, a lot of them aren't running, and that's the problem. The problem is they're watching children run on an app. The, the, oh boy! The problem is that these are things that we can prevent. Maba, now how much for sweet potato? <laughs> okay. This it sounds good in theory, you know. It sounds good in theory, but when you have to buy them and you watch the bill, we got to we have put tariffs on unhealthy foods, and we have to incentivize or subsidize healthy ones. Mm -hmm. Right? Watch here. We can't be a wealthy nation if we're unhealthy. It's, in, it's impossible. It is very much Especially so. considering our main resource is our people. So if the people running around sick they and dying run, early... They can't run as in. And then not only that, because we provide so much of the health cost to our population, it sh we should in incentivize keeping people healthy because the, the medical cost more expensive than it's the... Crazy. More expensive than the... So the treatment is way is way more expensive than the prevention. Yep. Incentivize, subsidize healthy foods and healthy eating. We need to get the honorable insulin back here. And we know you're doing bigger and better things, but you need to come back and talk to the people <laughs> about the health and how to, to eat better and the, the, the different initiatives. Because that was very important. They needed to hear those words. They needed to see the statistics. Yeah, but I think what happened is that we know what we need to do, you know. But do we have the political will? Probably not. To implement it. <clears throat> Jade, too many people. I just, just, the amount of coke people still drinking is just, it just. For breakfast. Jade. For bre Oh, you're drinking coke first thing in the morning, you know? Jade, they oh, are. Yeah, oh, my gosh. <laughs> I was going to say they're strong, but they ain't strong anymore. Ain't no way you're drinking coke 8 o'clock. On a Monday morning, and your heart strong. Y'all insane. Talking about how y'all can't drink water with y'all food because the food don't float. float and I'm gonna hey, what? what? Mm. Yeah, too much. Uh, too many men walking around with beer bellies at a young age. You used to see a beer belly on an older gentleman, you know, maybe in his fifties, sixties. Now these thirty-year-olds got beer belly and sound like. 30 years old, Jade. You got a young man in the 20s, Jade. So you're 30 years young? Yeah, 30 years young. No, I don't know what you're telling me. So, are you young? But, man, I, man we, we really have to do better as a, as, a, as a society. As a nation, we have to do better. It is... It is... um That's the real pandemic right there. Yeah. That's the real pandemic right there. A lot of these communicable diseases and, and um these, these diseases that are based on lifestyle... The things that we eat in, imagine we just don't have the discipline to control what we put in our mouth, right? But also, like I said, I also recognize that it is difficult and expensive for a lot of people to make healthier choices. So yeah. we have to address that. That's and then, so it don't make important. sense. So it don't make sense to tell people all the great information. It don't make sense to to give them all the statistics without giving them the proper opportunity to make the adjustments that we know they need to make. You understand? Like I haven't drink I haven't what's your I haven't drank Coke. I can't remember the last time I drink Coke. It I don't think I don't drink I don't think I've drank Coke since I don't think I've drank Coke since when I was like in high school or uh, maybe maybe phosphor maybe. Somebody so. said I wanna know what it tastes like. It tastes like sweet electricity. 
Coke literally <laughs> takes sweet cowan. That's what people like. Apparently, cowan in the hitch is. Ah! That's all of the beer. Yeah. Somebody said that they're forcing the child to drink water because they don't. You know, you know, you don't think I last long. But I mean, understand, you don't have to force them to drink water. You just no, make... No, force them to drink water. Why do you no, force no, them to drink no, water? No, but what I'm saying, if, if it's water in the house, that's what they're going to drink? Facts. You don't if have you to don't force... Buy juice, if you don't buy juice, you don't and you don't water, buy Coke... They're going to only drink water. I don't understand. Like, I don't understand this. And the thing about it for me is, with sugar and thing, you start to wean yourself off the sugar. You you lose the, you lose the taste for it, you know? Yeah, you do. You lose the taste for it. I remember that happened to me, boy. I was like, ugh. Everything tasted... Like syrup, yes, yeah, that's like, yes. You get this syrupy taste when you wean yourself out of sugar, and then you have something sweet. Let me do that again, you it know? doesn't taste, it do doesn't taste again. good. You have I to mean, really, you have to really learn, you have to really learn to like it. Yeah, may try to be in a body sex time by the age of 40. So that's and that's the other thing, you don't want to end up in a plug. No, you don't want to end up in you know, as, as she's in a body plug. plug. So let's let's <laughs> try, let's try and do better as a country um let's try to reduce the diabetes rates and all the other com- communicable diseases and save the government some money yeah. man health costs got to be ridiculous man i want a new hospital and they can't even afford that so they're gonna afford to take care of all of you <laughs> that's what they did in your hospital because everybody's sick rolling uh, out there rolling around like some holy police listen i tell you sis sit down out, up, upstairs daily while with a look downstairs and see all the people entering to the stores them right we have an obesity problem in St. Kitts. Like a serious obesity problem in St. Kitts. Yep. Ain't cute. And we need to stop this thing where we where we um where we find ways to justify people's unhealthy habits and lack of discipline. Nah, stop talking about oh we fat shaming, yes, because we don't want y'all to die. We do not want y'all to die. And you being fat don't mean you 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 you're unhealthy. You're more unhealthy than a skinny person. Cause these people are unhealthy too. Let me ask you, Jade. How many ninety-year-old fat people you know? Thank you. Let's let's end the show right there, yeah. <laughs> <coughs> Guys, we are gonna take. We're gonna take. We're gonna leave. We're gonna go. We're gonna disembark. Oh right. We gotta go. We gotta disappear. We gotta disappear. But thank you guys so much for joining us this morning. It's been great, a great start to the week. Um, I'm back. Yeah, yeah Jade, Jade is back. Um, everyone is happy to, to, to have you back, Jade. Um, and so uh, we look forward to an amazing week, guys. Hoping you have a productive week. Yes, we have lots of guests this week. Bye, a lot of guests coming in Bye. this week. Bye. Let me see, Jade. Let me see the calendar looking. People want to come hang out with the sippers here. Yeah. Bye. I, listen, anything else would be uncivilized. Uncivilized. Let me see. Yes, guests. Mm-hmm. We don't have one tomorrow, but we have one on Wednesday, Thursday, and probably Friday. Mm-hmm. Yes. So, stick and set to Ireland tea. All right, the guys. Only, the only type of sweetness you need. Hey. A little honey. A little honey. No, not no sugar. Yeah. But guys, um, whether you join us on Facebook, YouTube, um, any of the other digital media platforms, winmediask.com, thank you so much much we appreciate it if you're listening on your radio 98.9 fm turn it up load let people know that island tea is what they need to be consuming in the morning yeah don't let the boss man them not no coke not no coke and sprite and ginger and oh i love i love everybody like how like, they just they just convince themselves that like the amount of ginger in a ginger soda is really healthy for them yeah ginger is a, a medication apparently yeah, ginger is medicine. Yeah, ginger but soda is medicine. Yeah, yeah, that's what they try to convince mm-hmm. yourself. Yeah, let's drink some ginger tea. Yeah, 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 also, guys, please remember to spend more time living your content than posting it. If the lady had decided to keep her experience to herself, perhaps she wouldn't be in the predicament she's in now. Perhaps. Just perhaps. Keep it to yourself. I mean, unless you're a politician, because that's what they're doing right now. Oh, boy. They're running social media. Running social media, boy. Woo. Anyway. Yeah. And most importantly, guys, please remember you can't be everybody's cup of tea because you is not a mug. We're going to see you guys tomorrow.